What is going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today back on Jaguars franchise, this is week 16 and as I mentioned before, Dennis Peoples is the best receiver of all time. If you have not been keeping up with the series, let me introduce you to Dennis Peoples and I want to say he's a man who needs no introduction but he's pretty much the best player I've ever played with in Madden, I think. It definitely Madden 21. He's a rookie. He's unreal. Ankle breaker sucks, by the way. Oh, it's only fake it rates after the catch. That would have been good information now. Because I, I tried to use that on runs. It wasn't working. So it has to be only after the catch with ankle breaker. Okay. But yeah, he's just so good. He has 98 catching as a rookie. Like, that's with morale. That's plus two. But 96 either way is 16 touchdowns, 1,700 yards. Completely overshadowing the fact that Demarcus Holmes is his tight end is eight touchdowns and 859 yards receiving as a rookie. What can you do? Peoples, it's not going to win MVP. Probably not going to get votes as Minshew is in there at number five. But he might get AFC Offensive Player of the Year votes. He's been that good. Aaron Jones over him? I don't think so. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Who else would it be? Dennis Peoples. DeMarcus Holmes in the conversation as well. But yeah. Peoples could realistically have a 2,000-yard season the way he's playing. And that's pretty special. As far as draft stories goes, we'll go ahead and check out the news. As I'll remind you guys to subscribe. If you have not subscribed already, it's free. You can always unsubscribe later if you'd like. Hopefully you don't decide to do that, but it's, you know, you can. And check out my second channel. I've been shouting it out a lot recently, but I think a lot of you guys would really enjoy the content being posted over there. So why not give you guys a heads up if you have not checked it out already. Link is in the description as we're checking out offensive linemen. Marcus Cole seems to be okay. Like there are some players in here that seem like they're good, but then they're overall, their true talent comes back and they're terrible which continues to confuse me as Marquise Harvey. I think you mean Mark, whatever. But yeah, Dennis Peoples is just the best receiver of all time. Doesn't really get better than him. As Josiah Scott is an upgrade point. But this is going to be a test for us. The Patriots are really, really good. 10 and 4, although they're usually just way better in simulation than they actually are. They are an 82 overall, though. Stefan Gilmore is a really good player. Devin McCourty is a really good player. Here's the thing. I'm not sure either one of those guys is going to be one-on-one -on -one with Dennis Peoples at any time. Certainly not Devin McCourty. But Peoples in the slot is part of what makes him so dominant because he is the best player on the field going up against one of the worst DBs on the field for the most part for any team that we play. Stefan Gilmore, for the most part, is never going to be on Dennis Peoples if there are three receivers on the field. So as much as I just force him the ball, he is open. He does make the plays. It makes Gardner Minshew look like the best quarterback of all time because it makes offense so easy. And I know we're talking up a big game here, but if you've been seeing the videos, you know. Before Dennis Peoples, we were kind of lost on offense. The sliders are even harder, yet offense is even easier. Watch Dennis Peoples come out here and just get absolutely shut down. But I doubt that's going to happen. I doubt that's going to happen. We're probably going to throw near Stefan Gilmore if we go to him here. Ooh, I don't like anything there. Everything was completely boxed. Jones gets the sack. Might be Detone Jones. Could be a uh, drafted rookie, I suppose. Gilmore is going to be a problem. Gilmore might be able to slow down Demarcus Holmes. Not to, well. I mean, maybe, but Dennis Peoples is who I'm talking about. As we throw to him for nine yards on the slant, makes it at least more manageable here on third and long. And Peoples is lining up in the slot. That's my primary weapon, so we're looking for him. But Demarcus Holmes also going to be a quick throw from the big tight end, and he can't catch it. Not a great drive to start things off. As we are forced to punt, wind against us. We're going to try and get this farther over to the right than I initially had it. This is a returnable kick, and that is an issue. Quandre Sims, that's a great tackle, though. That is a great tackle. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize I was going to play that as well as I did. Wasn't even going for the interception. 
would have been a user pick to start things off. Missed opportunity. I didn't even hit triangle. Sad. Hit him right in the chest. Oh, Sony Michelle bobbing and weaving, getting five. Another third down. Chance for redemption. It's a run, and Miles Jack is all over it. Assist from Solomon Thomas, who just really couldn't finish the job. And sometimes that's what an, what an assist is. But we do have Dennis Peoples back to return. They're going to punt from midfield on fourth and four. Probably the right move. A little bit too long to guarantee success with a run. We don't really have much of a return going. So usually with this slant, this play, I force it. And I get picked off by the safety. But you see how he plays it? Now we're waiting and dragging the slot, which happens to be Dennis Peoples. So I'm not forcing picks in that spot if the slant's not open. Then I have Peoples as a late option as well. Nice catch from DJ Shark for 25. The coverage is clearly better this game. That's all I can say. The Patriots defense is playing real well. Is that is open. Demarcus Holmes. Quick little strike there. Is Demarcus Holmes going to get open here? I just got to throw it quickly. D.D. Westbrook's open. And he's so deadly after the catch. Didn't do much there. But, I mean, it's a guaranteed first down with him in that situation a lot of the time. It's like a little bit uh, oxymoronic there with guaranteed. And then a lot of the time, as I was nearly a pick. It is a pick. No. I forced it to Peoples because nothing was open. And it's a pick six. Devin McCourty going for Peoples. That was a force. That was a, bit, that was a really bad force. I feel like I'm critiquing a magic show. Um, it's a very specific reference, I suppose. We're down seven. One of the first times in a minute we faced adversity. But the plays that usually get guys open haven't been getting guys open. Dennis Peoples wasn't creating separation there. So maybe we've just faced the right teams. Because the Patriots are clearly on a different level so far. We'll learn from it. We'll be better. We got to be a little bit more dynamic in our play calling. Which is a little tougher to do without Aaron Jones. We're going to do the best we can. I just don't trust running the ball. McCourty's in the zone. I want to throw the slant. I'm going to. Jeez. Oh, oh, man. JC Jackson with the pick. I just, I just didn't play like a slant at all. He get bumped off. He just didn't run a slant. That was that's crazy. Okay, this is a this is a rough start to this game. Two picks, no touchdowns, no scores, nothing. We're down seven, and it might even get worse. Newton gonna run. Nice play by Caleb on Chase on to stop him from getting the first down. We're gonna allow points here more than likely. At least it's not a touchdown. Forcing it. <laughs> Dude, no one's getting separation. Not Dennis Peoples. Not anybody. He's open that time. Okay. The force it to Peoples method, not working a ton. I mean, it's only responsible for one interception. Am I in my head right now? Is that what, part of the problem? I forced that again. I thought he was just going to leave uh, DeMarcus Holmes for Peoples. It looks like Peoples may be more open than DeMarcus Holmes. And I'm afraid to throw a slant to DJ Chark. I just feel like that's going to get picked off. We're going to clear out. Westbrook's going to follow. We're going to have a slant with Peoples. And we get it to him. Nice little spin move, kind of. He is the offense. I know that that's like a problem, but... Step up. Throw it. There we go, DJ Chark, first down. It's the pressure of the Patriots that makes our defense tough, too. But the coverage has been awesome. Fresh set of downs. Peoples open over the middle. There we go. That's what we need. I know he has a lot of catches. Probably like six or seven already, honestly, of our actual 11 completions. But that's what we need to get going. He is the offense. We can't lose sight of that. It's, it's what's been working the past, like, five, six, seven weeks. It's get the ball to Dennis Peoples, and the rest is going to figure itself out. So, we got to stick with what works. We average 8.2 yards per carry on this. It's a halfback dive. 
Blocking looks pretty good. Robinson dives for the end zone and gets it. We are on the board with a touchdown. James Robinson. And we're within a field goal. Jack. Ah, we caught on a block. We got caught on a block. Oh, quick throw is intercepted by Quandre Sims. And this time, he gets a pick six. I believe that's his second pick six of the year. But of course, had the crazy interception last week. And dumped it off to CJ Henderson. Who then had a pick six. This time... Not that he's selfish. He just keeps it and gives us the lead. 14-10. What a play. 13-10. What a play. I knew I missed it. I, I was just ready for it to be faster. And with his focus kicker ability, it is slow. I just, it's a field goal game. Jesus. Oh, Josh Allen brings down Cam. I thought we were going to get in there with Miles Jack after a swim. We just got re-picked back up. I think the running back came in. But it didn't matter. Josh Allen screamed. Brought down Cam Newton. Forced third and nine. Quick throw. And that is going to be short of the line to gain. Devin Asiasi can't push it forward. Miles Jack meets him. Denies him. Patriots will punt. All right, after a solid punt that rolled quite a bit, we are backed up into our own end zone. I am kind of nervous to target Stefan Gilmore. I know he's not like, you know, I just, I can't believe I just forced that so hard. I know he's not the best cornerback of all time, but he is really quite good. And I just don't want to risk throwing an interception. Maybe we'll uh, drag him out. This play art feels like it could be super good if everything works out the way I think it might lead that perfect DD Westbrook. I mean, that could have been a lot worse this time it happens to work out. No touchdowns for Minshew yet. It's a great effort from DD to get it into space there. And I know we can win with Peoples down the field. I know we can. The time is not right for that. The time is not right. Tyler Eifert breaks a Gilmore tackle. He's out of bounds. Kind of a waste of the two-minute warning. And sometimes we just don't do that. Which, it doesn't have to be. Oh, he's so open. Thank God under pressure he released an accurate throw. But DeMarcus Holmes had to come back to the ball instead of just catching it on the sideline. And that really hurt. Second and 10. This play is just a hesitation. D.D. Westbrook usually gets super open. Stefan Gilmore's coverage was super tight. And Minshew just aired it the hell out. Broken tackle from Devin McCourty with his second interception of the game. He threw it about 30 yards too deep. Newton's going to run again. He's just one of those scrambling quarterbacks. He's like Jordan Tayabi when we played the Chiefs. Man coverage. Blitz is already a bad idea. Newton going to scramble. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's that's why it was a bad idea. We get that in space. You can't blitz mobile quarterbacks. But I'm just, I don't really even think a cam is that mobile anymore. Like, I know he is, but I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's weird. Newton going to roll out. And he is off to the races. Big hit. He just holds on to the football. They're not going to call a timeout. They're going to wait for 10 seconds to go off the clock, then call a timeout. It's good clock management. Yeah, this was a this was a super bad half for us, and we're tied. Interesting. It's a draw. We didn't stay in the lane. That's going to happen. We don't have to spy. We're not forced to spy. It's open over the middle. Joe Schobert is kind of bad, and we should be able to force a punt. It's a screen. They don't have numbers. Michelle almost got there anyway. I think in order to beat the Patriots, I have to throw at Stefan Gilmore. I know that sounds wild as D.D. Westbrook goes up the middle. It's just I've been so afraid to target him because I'm afraid to throw an interception that I'm throwing interceptions because of it. That's the problem. When it doesn't have to be like that. Devin McCourty's been more of an issue. And we get, get it to Peoples underneath. Great. I mean, that's not quite underneath. 20-yard catch for him. How many catches does he have? I'm still throwing him the ball quite a bit. I just cannot be afraid to throw the ball at Stefan Gilmore's side. And I just was looking for Holmes. Took a sack. John Simon got in there. I need Shark. I don't have a voice for this play. 
This is like the Michael Jordan flu game. <sighs> Nothing was open. I need I need water. All right, best punter on YouTube. Chance to show it off here. This might be an okay one. Nope. Just missed. Ugh. I just get too aggressive. I mean, I would be cool with pinning him on the four. But I want the one, you know? I want the one. And sometimes I just miss. I'm a little bit afraid to blitz here. So are we going to make it a contained blitz? Man up with Ronnie Harrison on the tailback. It's a run. We filled the gap. Nowhere to go. Big play. And it's a punt right back. This this game has not had a ton of offense. I feel like being a one-trick pony so far has held us back. In my head, it feels like we're forcing the ball to Peoples. Maybe that isn't even true. I know it usually is, but he's usually open. This game hasn't really been that open. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to beat them. He's our main target on this play. We just need to figure out what is going to work. Accurate? Are you kidding me, accurate? It's a pick six. Fourth interception on the game. Patrick Chung houses it. I mean, that wasn't even remotely close to where it needed to be. Turn over the ball four times. Four picks. Brutal. I don't know what the play is, man. Um, the Patriots' defense has been so good as James Robinson falls. I mean, he just fell down. He broke a tackle and fell down. He wasn't even tackled on that play right there. I'm just trying to figure out how to stop them. The usual things... I mean, stop them. I'm trying to figure out how to score. The usual things are not working. Oh, my God. I don't, I don't even know what to do, man. I'm so lost out here. I'm in my own head. I'm having a bad game, and I'm choking under the pressure. Third and five. It's wide open. DJ Chark. Probably haven't given the ball enough to him. But we tried to target him through an interception. Just have thrown too many interceptions, man. It's been bad this game. Probably not mixing in the run enough. We better have a way better fourth quarter. And it seems like the Patriots are struggling to defend the run. Might need to do more of that. Only six carries for James Robinson. If Aaron Jones was in the game, you know it's a different story. But on second and one, I don't care. This is take a shot play. That's just what it is. So I have to take a shot. D.D. Westbrook, big catch. We're not getting separation. Every throw is tough. 69 yards, nice. It has been super tough to move the ball. And this is a deep design. We're trusting peoples. Uh, do we have to go for it here? I don't think that we do. It's four yards, though. No, we're going to go for it. We should have played four down territory. We should have. Instead, I took a shot. Trying for the end zone. Fourth and four. Touch pass over the head. Couldn't get it to him. Man, wasted opportunity. Uh, we're just playing bad. We're playing bad. We might lose this game. And it's not even because the Patriots have played that well on offense. Because they haven't. Their offense has not been that good. It's because their defense has played so well. And I've made so many mistakes. To run, shed, Miles Jack. That is such a great play. Tell me he did not get it. Fourth and inches. It's almost worth a challenge in this spot. We need that timeout. I do not like that call. At all. To draw. Our run defense has been amazing. 13 rushes for 33 yards is nothing. We cannot score. We cannot move the ball even. It's pump draw. Nice tackle. It's just the same thing. They're running into our defensive line. And, of course, the subsequent help that arrives. All right, man coverage. We're changing zone and take away the middle of the field. Newton's running. He can be contained if he goes straight up the gut. Wow, this is not looking good. Newton going to run. Stove at the ground with Miles Jack. I think, and this, this really sucks right here. 
I think what we have to do is basically rush nobody. And just completely run zone coverage, contain, it's a screen. Where's the running back? Oh, he's there. I, I mean, he takes a sack there. Chad Brown finally brings him down. I think we just have to run complete cover defense. Cover everybody. I mean, spy, contain, rush one. It really is our best bet. Cam is becoming a big problem. And our biggest problem remains getting in the end zone. We've done it once on offense. All right, big drive. Forget about that. Just make a play. Peoples, it's a good start. That is a good start. He was the guy who got open. I know I keep talking about forcing the ball. I feel like I am. But I think he's just our best option a lot of the time. And a sack. That's the worst thing that can happen on second and two. John Simon again. I gotta trust it. I gotta trust it. He's getting taken down the field by Stefan Gilmore. And is incomplete. Ah! I trusted it didn't work out. I'm playing stupid with four down territory. I have to take what's there. But Gilmore's going deep every time. I'm not expecting it. Big catch to Marcus Holmes. Gilmore went for the interception to ice it. Holmes is still going. That allowed him to get the first down. We threw short of the marker. A tackle would have ended the game. Oh my goodness, we just got so lucky. We just got so lucky. We still have hope. Dude, we got a minute. We got a minute here. This has to be the final drive. Dude, look how tight that coverage is. We got to dive. Okay. Clock is still running. We got to call a timeout here. It's fourth and one. Dude, I've never seen tighter coverage. I really haven't. Damn, look at... They want me to throw the slant here. They want me to. I'm going to anyway. Dude, they're not giving me slant routes. We get the first down. Keeps the game alive. But that just isn't a slant. He just didn't run it like it was. They wanted that to be a pick. If I didn't click on it, probably is. Holmes underneath. Get the end zone. Dive! That is across the plane. That is ridiculous. It's got to be fullback season. Has to be. Bronson Rex Steiner, you are getting the ball four times in a row if necessary. And he only needs one. Trucks him right over. Now, the field goal, excuse me, the extra point, the missed extra point has made sure this is not a win right here. And we've tied it to potentially force overtime. And yeah, I realize that. Should be 21-20. frustrating it's just anything that could have gone wrong in this game did please cover that down the field i don't know why it switched me on to sydney jones 20 yards up the field and not the guy right on the ball second and five we just can't let him get in field goal range man i'm okay to let cam scramble because he's really not going to hurt us that bad it's a big juke okay they should call a timeout here i hope they don't they're not going to this is oh now they are we're so lucky that Madden, or excuse me, EA, has coded timeouts so poorly. However, they did this game because there'd still be about 10 seconds left. Instead, this is guaranteed to be the final play. He's launching it deep to the end zone, and it is incomplete. We're going to overtime. This game has taken years off my life, man. This one has been wild. And we've won the toss. We're receiving. Let's go. All right, Tyler Eifert. We got a block. Oh, how is how did he shed that? Is that Jawan Bentley? No, it's Tyus Bowser We're on the Patriots now. Second and three. This is my classic take a shot. But I don't I don't know if we're gonna do that. It just hasn't been there all game. But Demarcus Holmes has been. He's starting to get going too. Four picks. Three hundred and fifty yards. And four picks. Holmes over 100 now. Holmes open again. Easy catch. They're not accounting for him. This looks like zone coverage. The question is, 
Who's going to be deep? I think we got him. We definitely didn't. Peoples intercepted. Fifth pick of the game. And this one could end it all. And it's going to. It's going to be a pick six all the way down the field. I, I literally can't believe that. Wow. Jonathan Jones houses one. Nice play. That is... Okay. That is, an, that is an interesting end to this one. I don't think we deserve to win. That is a bad way to lose. We just got beat by a quarterback who threw for 85 yards. Self-inflicted wounds, really. I mean, no touchdowns, six combined interceptions for these QBs. Many of those were my fault. And um, James Robinson got going a little bit, but we just stopped giving him the ball. Stupid. Cam Newton was tough to stop. He had 71 yards rushing, receiving. Demarcus Holmes had 10 catches for 109. Peoples, 9 for 97. But, I mean, it was just so tough to move the ball. I don't think I've faced tougher coverage ever. Jack with 15 tackles. Two for loss. Salmon Thomas joins him in that. Sack for Josh Allen and Chad Brown. Interception for Quandre Sims. And he housed it for one of our two touchdowns on the entire game. Our first loss in a while... And it ends on a really frustrating play. If we go ahead and, and pop back into replay mode. I'll tell you what my thought process was. We're running slot fade. We've run it plenty of times. And we've done so successfully. So the main read here is Dennis Peoples. And what I see at this exact moment is DJ Chark stalling this corner back on the outside. Is that JC Jackson? Yeah. Stalling JC Jackson. Which means that we have a one-on-one -on -one Jonathan Jones at this point versus Dennis Peoples. And as soon as he turns the corner, back turn, I'm like, okay, we're going to have him. Throw the ball right there. He's got him on the inside. Usually that's a step. It was a one-on-one -on -one play, and we just did not get the jump ball. We just didn't get the jump ball. Great play by Jonathan Jones. What can you do? And then he almost goes out of bounds there. Doesn't. We're force blocked to the outside. He takes it back to the inside. Missed tackle by James Robinson. No one gets back in the play. It's a good game. Upgrades for D.D. Westbrook and Calevon Chason. Westbrook's a good player, man. I mean, I don't know how he's so good after the catch. He just is. Seems like he's always breaking tackles, even though he's only got 79 break tackle. Deep route running could be better. I just don't want to replace him. He's just really, really good. He's up to an 84 overall. Uh, I love having him on the team. Medium route running goes up. Deep route running, short route running. So he's even defining those abilities even more. And then Caleb on chase on. This is finesse moves all day with speed rusher. It is uh, only 76 finesse moves right now. Need to get that into the 80s for sure. And uh, he should be pretty good. Plus two finesse moves. We'll take that up to 78. This was a frustrating game, man. I mean, what are you going to do? We're going to drop to 12-3. and three. Patriots at 11-4. Both AFC teams very well could be a team that we see in the playoffs. Aaron Jones is cleared to come back. But he is not coming back. Not for this game. James Robinson in Week 17 definitely starting over him. And then rest or start here. Brandon Linder, rest our starting center. Okay. That's... That's that's interesting. All right, so... Uh, I got to just remember that I'm benching Brandon Linder now for... I don't have another option. That's a fucking tight... I mean, that's a freaking tight end. Casey McDermott. We're going to move over to center. I guess he'll start this week. Good lord. So I just got to remember that that's a thing. I'm I'm frustrated at that last game, man. I'm still thinking about it. It's going to keep me up as we have to face the 9-6 and six Colts next in Week 17. But that's going to be the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.
See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Play with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.